What's going on everybody? It's Johnny here from Cigar Club Canada. Just doing a quick video to show you guys some of the sticks I picked up today and a couple other little accessories. So I found a little, uh, not little, it's actually a pretty big uh, place. It's a new stand in the cigar tobacco shop, not far from my place actually, which is nice. Saves me from having to go to the big cities to, uh, to check out uh, the cigar store. So I went and checked it out today, rode the bike, and got some goodies to try out. Uh, stuff I've never tried yet. So, I also got a box. Uh, now, they give away the boxes. This one's a little bit busted. But I kind of like the box, especially stuff like this. Because I'm thinking of repurposing the uh, the cedar. So, that's why. So, I'll show you what I got in here. I'll show you my bill. It was... Uh, Eighty-five dollars and ten cents. I don't know if you guys can see that. If the light's gonna help show you, eighty-five dollars ten cents I spent today. I'm gonna show you what I got. Like I said, the box was free. So first up, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna review these smoke these uh, sticks when I smoke them. And, uh, and post proper videos for each one, but I got me a uh, V cutter for five dollars. Open this bad boy up right now. There you go. Not spring loaded or nothing, but good enough. Good enough to start. You don't have to go high end right off the hop. You know. I see there's some some cutters and some uh, some lighters out there that are pretty pretty pricey. Oh, there's that one. I wonder if the light will work better. Right here. That's better. There's my little V cutter. I'm in my Hot Wheel uh, Haven here. So that's no garbage. Okay, so let's show you guys what I got here. I picked up one, two, three, four, five, uh, six sticks for about 80 bucks, roughly. And we'll start it off. Um, this one is a Siri V Oliva. It's a six inch by 56 okay, ring. Okay, I found this on the web for V Oliver. Check it out. Well, isn't that nice that the iPad decides to listen in on my conversations? How can I make this light better? That was the first one I got, Torpedo. I do like torpedoes. That's the first one. So let's try that. Next one, I believe this is a Churchill. It's a Nicaragua. Orguelo, Orguelo de Nicaragua. Orguelo de Nicaragua. Like the size of that. Looking good. Then what did I get here? Then I got a Maltese Serena. This is supposed to have a natural sweetness to it that they extracted from the leaf, from the tobacco. I'm not really into the sweet sweets. I think I'm more of a Maduro area. Uh, but I thought I'd give it a try. For the price, it was pretty good. I think it was like $10, not even. And then we have a Calm Borealis Robusto. Now, the cool story behind this one, this is the only cigar on the market with Canadian-grown tobacco. So, being in Canada, I had to try this. What do we got here now? Ooh, this one's looking good. A Magno Maduro Nicaragua Cigar Robusto. Look how thick that is. You guys see, I don't even know if I can... It does it justice or if it just reflects well there you go that's gonna be a nice one and then last but not least a magno veradero habano as a torpedo so this is supposed to be very similar to a monte cristo number two um but obviously at a lower price point so we will try it out so those are the five cigars i picked up uh, from the new tobacco store that I found. I will store these properly in the humidor. 
but I just got them now, so I'm just gonna put them back in here for the purpose of the video in my new box. And then what else did we get, guys? This is a nice little ashtray I picked up at the flea market. Ceramic, pretty heavy. Fits your cigars perfectly. You gotta check your flea market for some vintage ashtrays. Lighters, cutters, you find some cool stuff. So then I also picked up a box. This is from a private sale. Somebody uh, was selling this box. So this was the wrapper that it came with. Jody or Omar Cruzado Castro, 143 US, so it says. Then multiple price tags put on there. It'd be funny to take them all off and see what the price was before and before. But anyway, there's a wrapper. And these are La Flor Dominicana, the cigar formerly known as Mysterio. Something to do with the copyright of the name Mysterio. They had to resort to TCFKA, which stands for the cigar formerly known as Mysterio. Nice box presentation, five cigars inside. So this is how I was given the box. This Bovita pack is done. And then look at those cigars. They look beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I can't wait to smoke these these pieces of art. La Flor Dominicana Ligero. So I have a few that I got to sample and uh, and review for you guys. And just to show you a few of them. What else I picked up? I also picked up this Cohiba leather case, uh, travel humidor, or yeah, it's like a travel humidor travel case with the nice heater inside. That pack is still good. Now the only thing that happened was that my little Cohiba sign. Came unglued from over there. Not a big deal, we'll put that back. But you can travel four cigars easily in here, comfortably. I also got this uh, guillotine cutter and this two jet torch lighter, all with this uh, carrying case, travel case, Cohiba carrying case. The Bovita pack, it came with one Main Street 1998 Reserve cigar. And it also came with another cigar, actually the one that's in here. I don't even know what that was. There was no uh, band on it or nothing, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, definitely felt like a cheaper cigar, but it was still enjoyable. So I picked all this up on Facebook Marketplace, um, 80 bucks. So, you don't have to go all out. You don't have to get the best of the best. That's a pretty nice case. It's a Cohiba case for 80 bucks. I thought that was pretty good. But yeah, we're uh, we're a club. Uh, pardon me, a little sip of the coffee there. Uh, we are a Canadian cigar club and we, um, we welcome everybody. So whether you're new, intermediate, advanced, I've been smoking for four decades. Um, we just want to bring some information to the table, you know, uh, help, help inform some of the newer people or even inform some of the people that are smoking and don't know some of the history or, uh, or some of the facts about the cigars or never cared like myself until now. So I got to show you guys one last thing. So I also picked this up. Uh, again, I'm going to review it and test it out. It's a Claro by case elegance i got it on amazon um it seemed by the reviews and everything it was the best best one you could get within the price range i was looking for which was around 200 dollars um and uh and it is obviously the humidor if you guys haven't figured that out by now so i will be uh doing a video of seasoning it getting it ready to Filled with uh, tasty sticks. 
but I figured I would show you guys and unbox it with you guys here. Very well packaged. Very, very well packaged. I had to smell the paper there. It smelled like a cigar. So, first, right off the hop, the packaging. Look at this. Look at the detail. Like a designer. Designer purchase that I'm just going to rip right through. Oh, that is nice. And that's just the bottom. Made in China, like anything else, but this is heavy. This has some weight to it. So I went with the darker wood. As you guys can see, I think it's called ebony. Come on. There's the glass. It's actual glass. And it comes with humidor solution to season it. I have never done it like this before, but we'll try it out. It's got these dividers, and then you put the pegs in, and you can place them anywhere you want as per your, uh, your needs. As you can see, something like that. And that would go inside the humidor, and I'll show you where. Again, very well packaged. So as you can see, there's holes there. You can put this and divide your cigars any which way. Uh, this is the obviously humidifier part. Move that, and of course, I don't have scissors on hand or a knife. But either way, you get the gist of it. That's the humidor part. There's the hydrometer. Hyd hydrometer. This is the inside of the box fairly deep now the thing that i like too that it has uh it says it fits 30 to 50 cigars i believe it was but the nice thing that i that i like too that it had if i get that back in there okay that's a nice seal you can actually feel that and hear that uh was a little drawer for your accessories so literally, I just put my cutters, lighter, bam, right there in the drawer. Oh, it's perfectly, very well made, very well packaged. Nice metal hinges everywhere, Claro branded everywhere. A nice fit on the lid. You can see that this, this groove recesses inside to create a perfect seal. Made with Spanish cedar inside, real glass on the top, like I said, a full... Uh, seasoning kit um like what more can you ask and i paid i think it was 148 dollars <coughs> 24 hour delivery so if you're looking for a humidor here's the one i'm gonna try and i will let you know how it does keeping the humidity and how it does uh fitting everything i need to fit in here so i'm excited to get this uh get this season and then uh proceed with filling it Mm, it smells nice. Spanish cedar always smells nice. Well, that's it, guys. That was a quick, what was it, 13 minute, 14 minute video. Showed you guys what I uh, what I got. Don't forget flea markets for vintage ceramic ashtrays that are beautiful. Go on Facebook Marketplace. You might find a travel case or some accessories for cheap like I did. Check out Amazon, along with other stores. Obviously, shop around for a humidor that best suits your needs for size and what you need, what you want, what you're looking for. I will let you guys know on the uh, humidity of this, if it maintains it or not. Uh, from what I've seen the reviews, it does pretty well. So, excited to try it out. And also excited to try out one of these bad boys, along with some of the stuff that's in here. So stay tuned for more reviews and an update on the humidor. Stay safe. Stay smoking your stogies. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>